So we're here uh, at the uh, mineral uh, exhibition. Um, we've got a lot of different um, element uh, element rocks here. Uh, I don't know if you can just see there. That's uh, it's kryptonite. Huh? Yeah, they keep that one there because um, Superman keeps showing up. Um, and he's just a he's just a dick basically. He's just um, really loud. I mean, they said, they said, come over once, we need your help to look at some of the dinosaur bones, can you use your x-ray vision to help us date them? Um, but yeah, he, he's just really obnoxious, so they don't let him back anymore, and they've got kryptonite here in case he does show up. Probably not. Some gypsum there. Um, gypsum, of course, is the, uh, the rock that's formed when... Um, a vast amount of gypsies are, are squashed together and they form that particular mineral. So we're here at the uh, mosaic of Orpheus's journey to the underworld. Um, and the museum actually purchased this particular mosaic from a charity shop. Um, and the reason I know that is because actually it's got several missing pieces if you look. Um, so. I mean, if you look at the box top over there. So yeah, it's just... Crocotite there. Uh, that's when uh, crocodiles, a vast amount of crocodiles, are squashed together and they form that, that mineral. I mean, another thing that points to the evidence for a young Earth is the fact that these, um, these wood lice have been uh, squashed into the road surface there. These are, you know, uh, tarmac and, and the car's just gone straight over them and squashed them there so um, that kind of dates them yeah it's one of the signs of a young earth really because if they were around crawling back then you know it doesn't make sense you know can't explain that uh, appetite that's when uh, you know some very hungry people are squashed together and they form that particular mineral so the evolutionists and the atheists are so desperate to try and prove evolution, they've actually shown one animal turning into another. And that's a woolly mammoth giving birth to a sort of Roman duck. And I'm not falling for it. No one is. No one's falling for it. It's pathetic. Wolfenite. Um, that's where a number of wolves are squashed together and they form a particular mineral. So we've got a lot of really interesting dinosaurs here, but there's one in particular that I want to talk to you guys about. So um, we've got Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, all those sorts of things down here. And there's this great one with a, an ability to camouflage itself, map in with this natural surroundings. And what's very cleverly done is it's disguised itself as a rock. Um, just go there. Um, that's actually um, a dinosaur that's able to disguise itself, blend in with its surroundings. It's really, really you know, like adapt and, and you know, not evolve, adapt, but um, yeah. That's mimetite there, that's when a lot of silent movie actors are squashed together, they form that particular mineral. Look at you fish, you're so stupid, look at you, swimming around. Stupid fish, I hate you so much, I hate you fish. Stupid fish. Stupid fish, I fucking wish you were dead. Yes, we you not know what you're doing. Don't remember me, do you, fish? Fish. And that's Celestine. Um, it's Celestine, it's Celine Dion. Uh, a lot of them are squashed together, they form that particular mineral. So I'm here with uh, um, a variety of different Pokemon. Um, I mean, look how they've evolved over time. I mean, you start off on the land and then um, it acquires a certain amount of hit points. Um, it's trained and gets the right amount of gym badges um, and that can then turn into a larger, larger creature. Pokemon. Vanadinite there, that's uh, when Jean-Claude Van Damme is squashed together uh, and he forms that particular mineral. I mean they say there's proof of the dinosaurs but that one's evidently made out of plastic. You know. I mean if I can just touch that. that... Some some kind of force field in the front there. Can't can't touch the can't touch the dinosaur. That's Beryl. So you join me here at the pinnacle of the exhibit. 
the world's first ever vagina.